going on YouTube how's things going Saturday night got some uh, live shows going on hopefully everyone's catching them so I had a couple sales this weekend I had about four hundred fifty dollars and uh, a couple return issues that I had going on uh, so it's uh, it's been a it, it's been a good weekend um, yeah, so I thought I'd go through that today. I thought I'd go through. I have a box left over. Little Rocky Discount Store. How you doing? Gail, Cat's Meow. Uh, Donna, you got your, uh, what's it called? Disco Light. So she won one of the listing challenges. She got her uh, Disco Light. And I sent her some sticky notes. So I got a ton of them. <laughs> so hopefully that uh, that worked out. Hopefully. Redneck, how you doing? Nick and Adam's here. How's it going, everybody? How's your Saturday night been? Has anyone else had any sales? Anything going on? So, if you remember last night, um, I taped it up, but I had this watch and I had no idea how to work it. So, what I did, this one, this Samsung S2. So, I don't know if you remember that. Well, I finally figured it out, and I was able to charge it, and it works. It was, it's brand new. As you can tell, it's still in the package. Now, I saw this. I don't know what this is. CMC? Not sure. But, uh... So I listed it for $99.99. I sold it uh, probably within 30 minutes. Someone bought it today. Yeah, Don's waiting on those three C's. I got them right here. So are these... I plug this in. Were these the ones you looked at? So I had that one, that one, and that one. Um. So yeah, that sold. I was surprised that sold so fast. Uh, what else did I sell today? I've been listening. So hey, Demir, what's going on? So we get this flips one sale waiting for payment. Uh, and what's great is with the premium store, I just turned on my auto feedback. So that's been great. Now I can. Stay on top of that. Uh, let's see what what else did I sell sell today. So the the Joy-Con controller that you saw, I sold that, sold that for fifty or sixty bucks, and that sold instantly. Relisted it last night or sell similar, I should say, and what I had. And I just sold um, just sold a, uh, you know those two car screens that you get. Well. It didn't work, and I'm gonna I'm gonna message. But in the title, it says "Power for Parts." Sold that for forty just now. Uh, sold a cable for twenty five, an HDMI splitter, uh, a speaker skirt stand that sold for sixty bucks. I sold not a box case for sixteen. Uh, the Adonic Pixel thing that I showed you the other night sold that for sixty five. A wireless Morphe case for forty. Some guitar strings. I sold, uh, I sold a uh, that time card system that I got, which I didn't think I would ever sell. Did you ever get some things you never think you'd ever sell? Well, I sold that for 120, and it was brand new. So that sold, and then uh, a modem I sold for 30. So yeah, I had a ton of sell sales today. Uh, Nick says I bought a set of Giuseppe Armani Disney figurines for 500 did my research and found out the set is worth 4200 holy cow that's crazy Destiny got her blue lot slot Demir I'm doing is zero promoted sales nothing cats meow sold a uh, polo Ralph Lauren shirt yeah I'm not doing any promoted listings is anyone else doing promoted listings so some of these items they sell like crazy. I mean, I just listed a couple things from last night and it's it's sold. So I don't know. I mean, because I'm top rated and I'm a power seller, I don't know if I'm getting uh why well, I'm getting so many sales, but uh but granted, those uh speaker lighting stands skirts, they were brand new in box. I had them up forever. Uh, I had them up probably a couple months, so they finally sold. So it looks like uh, 
Margot does promote it. Cat's Meow does promote it. Who else does promote it? Destiny had three sales. Finally, you're off the wagon, huh? Steam controller and some batteries for Four Oaks. Hey, William, what's going on? So, yeah, I mean, I'm not doing anything with my listings. Now, what I do question is, I wonder if adding the UPC is helping with sales because I've started doing that. Uh, I've started adding the UPC to new other and new, not for the used, but I don't know if that gets higher in the rankings. If anyone knows UPC, which I take off the manifest. So this box I'm going to show you. Uh, this is the second box of the one you saw last night. Uh, so let's see what we have. All right. Oh, nice. CD looks okay. I have a ton of DVDs and CDs now. That's kind of crappy, but I'll deal with it. Ghost Recon. Uh, PS4 game. That should be... I know. I think they just came out with the new one, so we'll see. Is there any difference between 30 day and good until canceled? I'm not sure if it's different in search results, but 30 day ends in 30 days. You have to physically go in and relist it or sell similar. And good until canceled just keeps relisting itself. I do good until canceled. I do them on all listings because I hate touching them if they expire. eBay always asks me to enter UPC as I'm losing sales because I do not put UPC. So you can you can still get around it on mobile. Uh, on the mobile, you can just say no or cancel, and it goes through to the list screen. But um, I wonder because I got an email a while back saying eBay was gay was uh, going to force people to to put UPC codes. So I don't know if uh, if they're enforcing that now and and killing the rankings on it or uh, they scrapped it because I can still get around it on the phone on mobile when I push to listing. I put my photos in and I hit continue. I do not have it in there. It pops up and I hit no sometimes and I just go through and list it. But uh, I thought they were going to require that, but I'm not seeing it being required on mobile. It is required on a computer. Uh, Darren says, I use it having good luck. Well, at least it's working out for you. All right, so here, I don't know. I mean, it's kind of old, but. They've stopped making this game, so I'm assuming uh, it will sell well. But 360, this is uh, NCAA Football 13. So I'm sure it'll sell pretty well. I'm hoping. I haven't looked at it, but that's just a guess. No, Chris, they're telling me that it, it is better to put UPC sales will go up. So then that's the case. I mean, I've been adding UPCs lately, and I usually didn't. But I have. I sell something every day at least. Uh, Destiny says, was your blue lots considered new condition? Mine were considered new. I had a couple items that were like new, uh, but they were still brand new condition for me. What, what was yours? Are you having issues? The very best of the Doopy Brothers. Look at that. CDs, everything in here is two disc lot. This one was loose. That's the problem. I don't want to have to listen to all these CDs. So there you go. Uh, phone. I love phones. You know I love phones. Yeah, try UPCs. I'm sure that'll help. Look at that. Another LP. This is uh, Brian Eno. Never heard of him. Yeah, I swear. I, I'm, I'm guessing. So what I'm going to do is I have a lot of old listings out there. I'm going to go back and add the UPC to them. Some of them, I mean, are opened, but the tags are still attached. And on some of them, it depends. I, I, I wonder what you got, though. What did you get that were opened items? But are they new? Are they not used? They're just opened? Doobie Brothers would sell, really? I know. I need an, I, I need a, a LP player because I'm, they're stacking up. Oh, look at these. I'm getting a ton of these things now. 
So this is Avery Labels. And um, a girl's night out mug shots. I'm getting some interesting. Uh, look at this. It's <laughs> funny. Party police department karaoke star come twerking. Look at that. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, here we go. These are pretty cool. Look at this one. Police department milf crime affair with personal trainer. These might be my new uh, YouTube uh, pictures. Cougar. Botox junkie. These are pretty cool. Yeah, I might, I might keep these. These are funny. Look at this. Crime. Or this is a hot mess. Crime is sloppy drunk. Yeah, look at that. What else do we have in here? Oh, oh, oh boy, some of these are kind of bad. Ah. Trophy wife, maid of dishonor, selfie addict, bridezilla, cougar. So those are kind of cool and fun. Uh, Destiny bought the computer lot. Oh, that was a good. That was a big lot. I didn't. I didn't know if anyone would touch that one. Condition of the items were great, but they were open package. Yeah, some of mine were opened, my baby stuff, but I'm all right with that. Yeah, bribe them with the twerking sign. I probably should. Oh, I love I love these things. What do they what do they call it? Bolo. Um, so these vid box, as long as it has the CD and the cords and everything, with the box you can get between forty and fifty dollars. Without the box, it's probably closer to forty. But uh, these things are great. I love selling those things, and they sell a lot. All right, this is a, I don't know, I think it looks like it's missing, but it's a uh, Osprey drop tested. Looks like it's supposed to be a case or a screen, but it looks like it's not in there. Oh, be on the, see, I always forget what it means, be on the lookout. So yeah, be on the lookout for those. Because you know you always get 50 bucks for them. Um, now it looks like these aren't in here. Oh, they are. They're in here. So that are a pair of headphones. These are pile headphones. Usually I see the pile headphone or pile products be, uh, oh, what's it called? They're usually like microphones and some sort of audio equipment. I've never seen these headphones. Oh, boy. Ah. Yes, Chelsea and Manchester United tomorrow. It's going to be a great game. It's going to be awesome. I took a shot with the lot. It looked like a decent winner. I'm hoping one item covers the lot. Yes. Used to be APB. APB. What's APB mean? So I'm getting, uh, look at this, professional electrical tape, and it's white. I can use that for soccer. I play soccer on the weekend, so that helps my shin guard stay up. I'll keep that. Yeah, it was fun watching Ohio State, but they came back and won. I'm not an Ohio State fan, so I could care less if they win or lose, but it was a good game. Oh, all points bulletin, there we go. All right, so this is another thing I like. This is a Seagate external hard drive. And what I'll do is I'll open it up. And here's what I recommend. Plugging, in, plugging it in and trying it on. Uh, if it doesn't work, go to the website. The website will ask you for product number and serial numbers. I have one mailed out and a new one, a refurb one coming back. So um, these Seagates, I love these. These are another Bolo. So uh, these two items, plus what I listed before, are um, are great. I love those things. Hey, what's going on? Thanks for joining. So yeah, I love the Seagate stuff. Now, I've gotten... Uh, Michael, you play indoor league during the winter? Nice. I played in college, and then I've continued playing. I play outdoor, and then we flow into indoor. I play year-round. That's great to see someone else playing. But yeah... So I've only had an issue with one Seagate 
that it was not under warranty, 95% of the time they're under warranty. Oh, you can't play until Christmas? That sucks. Uh, a Donut Pen. Those sell well if they work. If they don't work, people will still, still list them. People will buy them. Just turn on Best Offer and you can get rid of it. So this looks like a Galaxy case with the curved case. That's going in the trash. It's busted, see? Yeah, that's broken. Screen protector, that's busted. I'm going to throw them to donate that. Never even heard of that. Another phone. Again, I sell phones all the time. You make anywhere between $10 and $20 profit, depending on which one it is. Phones are great. Some more cases. Depends on the case, OtterBox, I list. The rest of the stuff I just compile together and uh, donate them or sell them as a lot. Doesn't always work, but I try to sell them. Uh, no idea who this is. Stony? Stony CD? Man, I love all these all this music stuff now. Watch bands, I lock these up and I sell watch bands together. Oh, so let me tell you about my return. I have one return, someone opened it up, they didn't read the listing, it was for a Polaroid snap camera, the zinc or whatever. Sold it for 120. The guy's complaining it can't work and I reached out to him and sent him, tell him to return it. He has not returned it yet, so I'm gonna call and close the case. So that's gonna get closed. I had someone, uh, what's it called? Someone bought some, or, uh, bought one of my water bottles, which was new, never used from what I could tell. It smelled brand new. Um, bought it, and then he gets it. I listed in the listing that it was dented and scuffed. And he's like, he came back and said, you know, he never told me it was used. I said, it's not used, it was dented. Saw it in the pictures. Everything was disclosed. That was yesterday. I haven't heard from him yet. So he goes, oh, it, this is what it sells for brand new. I'm like, did you read the listing? Did you look what condition I put it in? So you get all those that don't read the, the conditions, don't read the listing. Um, oh, and then I had, uh, I did, this was one I wasn't sure of. It was an Xbox One adapter that plugs into the wall. It looked kind of used, and I wasn't sure if it worked, so I listed it as, and I took a deep discount off the price. Uh, I listed it as, uh, I said used, unsure, untested, free returns. Sent the unit, the lady got it, said, said it didn't work. Uh, so I said, I, I apologize, and I said, hey, you know, it was untested. Uh, I'll just refund you money. You can keep it. Um, she told me not to use the USPS ever again like, what does that mean does she not know that she goes yeah don't use the postal service I'm like okay and that was it so on, on the whole topic of returns i guess we haven't touched on it yet but i kind of play with the fact of and it depends for me what i do is it depends on the price if it's a lower priced item price and condition lower priced item uh i will usually tell the buyer to keep it and i will refund the money now, if it's an issue where I think the buyer's trying to get money off me, trying to get a partial refund, I'll ask them to return it. I'll supply a label just for the sake. 90% of the time, they won't return it. Uh, but yeah, there's certain situations where I'll make them return it or will, where I will, uh, um, I'll just let them keep it. If it's usually under $10, under $15, it's not worth the hassle uh, for them to return it to me. And I'm wasting money on the return, uh, and I'm getting it back, and it's something I won't be able to sell that can be broken. Uh, so, for example, let's say I had a PlayStation controller as an example, and let's say I sold it for twenty bucks. Well, they get it. They says it doesn't work. They say it doesn't work. I'll make them return it just because I know there's a market for broken PlayStation items, and I'll make my money back. I'll at least make some profit, even with the return shipping. So. I, I weigh what I can get back out of the item if it's broken, or if I can't get anything, I'll tell them to keep it. So I don't know what you guys do, what everyone else does with uh, returns. Do they make them return it? Uh, 
uh, depending on the price or what do you do? Usually, it, it just depends on the item. All right, so here's my, I don't know how to say this, Huawei Fit. These sell for pretty, I, I looked them up and I forget. I think it's about 70 bucks, 80 bucks. This looks brand new, so I'll try that out. Hey, Scott, what's going on? So, I mean, I get returns all the time. It's part of the business. I know, I, all the time is a bad choice of words. I get them. Um, it sucks sometimes, but a lot of times I'm able to resell it. So I try not to get too discouraged about them. It does suck. But, uh, I mean, nine, nine times out of ten, I'm going to resell it. All right, so here's a game in a random case. It looks like it was sold Amazon, used acceptable. PlayStation 4, it is Overwatch, or it's an Origins Edition. So if I look at the back, it looks scratched. There's some scratches up there. So if the way these electronics lots are going, if I'm going to continue to get these CDs and discs, I might have to invest in FJF or JFJ. <laughs> JFJ, that's right. So that might be the path I'm going to go down. Uh, it's almost only logical. Put some more money in. So Grand Theft Auto 4. Wait, no. Five, sorry. This thing will sell. I mean, good thing about Grand Theft Auto games is they keep their value. And this looks scuffed too. So I'll try that one out, but usually uh, let's see. Alright, let's see. We have probably five minutes, so I'm gonna go pretty quick now. Transmitter kit. Wow, the chat's dead, guys. Is there anyone out there? Or did I just not scroll down enough? Uh, JFJ is a CD cleaner. So it uh, you can clean your discs, and usually they get them back in working condition. No idea what this is. Check that out. Life-proof case. Uh, oh, I didn't know these were in here. These are some Bayer Dynamic uh, headphones. So wireless earphones, we'll give that a shot. So this this was a good lot. Uh, Scott says I got a liquidation lot yesterday. First item on the oh I saw this one. First item was a Montblanc pen, but there's a twenty pen inside the Montblanc. Oh, what's a twenty pen? A lot of games I receive in Amazon lots are bootleg. Make sure you look at them as well. What do you mean bootleg? So, oh well, maybe you're a. Uh, yeah, that feels funny, doesn't it? I think you might be right. So it looks like someone printed off the sticker. I have this game, so I'll check. But it looks, it feels funny on the top now that you say it. Yeah. It's a great point. Oh, $20 pad, got it. Yeah, fake game. So I'm going to try them out. Uh, the Sonic, Sonic Alarm. Electric stapler. Got the, ooh, pink dot of death. We'll see what that does. Scott filed a complaint. Check them. A lot of them will not work. That's a good point. Yeah. Unfortunately, this is a uh, Apple. Why can't I talk? Apple uh, computer charger. Another phone. These sell for a good $26, I think. This one looks pretty beat up. See, I don't know why people ship stuff back and put the shipping label right on the box. I find that highly aggravating. How about you guys? All right, let's see. All right, the rest of these are games. Another one. These are all CDs. Allison Krauss. This thing is busted beyond repair. Look at that. The Room. Transformers Wii U. Oh, yeah, Magic Trackpad. That's what I wanted as well. So this looks just busted. Now you have to check the screen. All right, so it looks okay. I'll give it a shot and test it, but it looks physically, it looks okay. It just looks like the box got beaten up. Um, all right, so salute to Cornfield. No idea what that is. 
I find these spec cases sell pretty well. Kenny Shepard band. Uh, one year warranty on a Pixel Flash. No idea what that is. All right, it's an, all right here's what I wanted. This is another thing. These sell like crazy. So it's a Mario Kart 8 Deluxe game. And it's closed with the Amazon seal. Oh, it's in here. Nice. So I can test it. There's the game. And it says Mario Kart 8. These sell for $50 to $55 all day. I sold one that was weird. The case was ripped off. But I'm excited this is in here. I had one that was not in there. Um, so, yeah. Let me just – I'll pull up. The laminator pouches. Oh, I can actually test my laminators with these. So that's perfect. Uh, Chris, what's the topic of the Roland Pickett channel? Uh, I'm not sure. I just pulled it up. It says, hold on, where'd it go? Ever consider sourcing from liquidation services? Chris, aka Liquidation OH, will tell us about the options that are out there to get the new new niche for reselling. So yeah, come on over. I also bought two lots after I won the first one, emailed liquidation and told me I was bidding on that lot that was closing later and I wanted to combine shipping. So they will not combine shipping if uh, you have the minimum amount of shipping on that lot. So uh, if it's above the minimum, above 40 and above $80 based on where it's at, uh, they will not combine because it's going to be the same price for them at least. All right, let me find the last couple things. And then I got to jump off and get over to Mike's channel. Strange Love cases, weird Michael Jackson video, pop socket that is unused, awesome. That's gonna sell. And then dangerous obsession. That's interesting. Ooh, another Seagate hard drive. So this box has been great. This thing's been amazing. Premium fan. And that's all she wrote. Uh, all right, guys. I'm going to head over to Sky, Mike's channel. Uh, come on over, Roland Picker. I think I have a link down below. Hit the link, and uh, we'll see you over there. All right, guys. See you in a little bit.